Um, how to become a physician in Canada. Welcome to this online free course. Hello, everyone. My name is uh, Rupen. I'm an internal medicine resident. Um, I want to talk about today how you can become a physician, a licensed physician in Canada as an international medical graduate. But first, like every slide I prepare, every presentation that I do, I usually start this story. I arrived in Canada around 2016. And when I arrived, I already did my USMLE step one. And I think at that time I was preparing for the USMLE step two. Only thing I heard from people is go to the US, go to the US. You can't make it in Canada. And that time I had zero connection. I knew no one, I, like literally I knew no one. And I didn't know how to match. I just like wanted to do my best and I took it one step at a time. I prepared for exams. I wrote the exams. I prepared for observerships. I went through observerships. I prepared for CARMS. I did interviews and I matched. Well, there are some factors that helped me that I was a recent grad. Maybe I had a good scores, but something inside me was like, maybe it's like not only about becoming being a recent grad or having good scores those are very important please don't get me wrong and when i got into the system i was surprised i met many international medical graduates who make it but like no one talks about it over the years i helped many international medical graduates preparing for their interviews preparing for their cvs and the personal statement and teaching something i'm passionate about you can go to my youtube channels and you can find like free cv course uh, personal statement course like how to prepare for the MCCQE or USMLE step three courses. I love teaching and I have I love helping people and that's why I'm preparing this. This, this is free online, uploaded on YouTube. You can listen to it whenever you want. Okay. So over the years, I also interviewed many international medical graduates. Some of them were recent grads. Some of them were old grads. Some of them matched into dermatology. Some of them matched into general surgery. Some of them matched into public health. And every time I interviewed someone, I was like amazed by the story that they told me. I was like, man, this is doable. There are different ways of doing it. But like eventually, if you are persistent, you know how to play the game, it's doable. Of course, there are some rules. You can't just like come as an international graduate and just apply and get in. There are some things you have to do. And then there is the interview and there is some form of luck. And that's why I'm doing this. I want to simplify the process. I want to go step by step with you the day you arrive here and what are the important things that you need to do to get into a residency spot. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any comments, please leave them below. My email is always there for people to email me and ask me questions. My credentials before going through the course, I'm an internal medicine resident. I'm finishing my internal medicine residency. Over the last four years, I wrote all the USMLEs, licensing exams, and the Canadian licensing exams. I wrote the United States Medical Licensing Exam and the American Board of Internal Medicine for the US and the Royal College of Internal Medicine in Canada. So I'm certified both in countries. And now I'm going to the US. I'm going to do hematology and oncology fellowship. Over the years, I helped many people to match. I listened to many people's story. I uploaded many videos on YouTube. So I'm a bit familiar with the process. I hope this video helps you and uh, makes your journey easier.